Esperanza, how was I like your background? Huh? I like Esperanza's back background. <laughs> Have you seen it? Cute. Just for you guys. I'm celebrating. <laughs> Same. Hello. 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 <laughs> Just a drink for you. I don't think the drink gets messed up with this. But... <laughs> All right. So we will start. Can't hear anything. Why can't I hear anything? Question mark. I don't know. Who can't hear anything? Janine? No. How do you change the background? <laughs> At the bottom. The bottom left, or next to stop video, there's an arrow. Okay. And that, you can say, choose virtual background. Uh -huh. They just use Zoom and are finishing and they don't know how to put the background. Okay. No. Oh, you have to We're all business your... in thesis. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa. I can't hear that. Out of this world. Does it come with pre backgrounds? Because mine doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine didn't. Mine doesn't oh. either. Oh, it's like I don't just have any. none. <laughs> well, you I, got, I got these. You had to choose from your computer or background. Yeah, but. Hi, Mom. Alyssa, which beach are you in? <laughs> any of them, please. <laughs> <laughs> so Katie, whenever we are ready, let me know. Where is Janine? She said that she's coming with a beer. Where is? Hi, everyone. Hey. Hi. Hello. Is Katie frozen? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Katie is frozen. <laughs> Hi, Gisette. Good to see you. Hello. Good to see our uh, well wishers and. Hey, Newton. How are you? Hey, John. How are you? Good, good to see you too. Yeah. Thanks for joining in. No problem. Anytime. Hi, John. How are you? Nice. Hey, to how are you? How are you doing, Esperanza? Good. And you? You're good. Hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's just hanging in. It's a ball hanging. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. See how much more we can hang. <laughs> Janine is here, I think. Hello. And uh, where is Phil? I'm looking for Phil. Phil? Phil's there? Oh my God. There is Alyssa. Phil's at the beach. <laughs> Hi, Kenzie. Good to see all of you. Hi, Kenzie's here. Hi, Kenzie. Katie's here. Katie. Just that. Hello. Hi, Janine. Hello, everyone. Steve is here. Hi, Kenzie. Katie, is that a screensaver behind you? What is that? Like? <laughs> I thought you. I'm on campus. Can you tell? It's <laughs> 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 brand, where brand, is, brand. Where is Darcy? I don't see Darcy. Yeah, no, she's trying to get on. Oh, she's here. Darcy's here. Is she? Wait. Oh, there yep. she is. Hey, Darcy. Darcy. <laughs> so where is Phil? Is he on? 
Phil is not in. Oh. Hi, Steve. Hi, Mike. Hi. Hi. Hey, Steve. <laughs> you look Where like you're about to land a plane. Darcy, <laughs> your mic is muted. Darcy's on mute and she doesn't know. Hi. There you go. How are you? I don't see any bottles. Any bottles here? What's in, where are the bottles? Yeah, how are you? <laughs> hey, John. How are you? Congratulations, everyone. Oh, oh I see some bottles now. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Steven. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God, where's your dog? Where's your dog? Where's your dog? I got my a dog. dog. Yeah, where's, where's the, the dog? dog? Where's the dog? <laughs> Francis, where's the dog? Francis, where are the dog? <laughs> Francis, come here. It's Louisa. She's shy. What did they have to answer? There she is. Oh, do we start? There she is. We still are getting a few more. I, I say let's wait a couple minutes just to get okay. a few more on. Okay. Here's Francis. Can get a couple of songs. Dog ever. Oh. <laughs> Barbie. Ashley. Ashley. <laughs> I'm, trying to get, I'm trying to make Leo look at Francis, but oh, oh Leo. <laughs> oh. Look good. That patty too. Oh my god. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's so cute. Alyssa. <laughs> wow. Alyssa. <laughs> Alyssa. Oh, patty. <laughs> Alyssa, I want to thank you for doing the Bauhaus. Oh, I really had I, fun doing it. I was actually like all up in my feelings the other day because I was we were supposed to take a Euro trip this summer. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm really happy I had a Euro trip with you. It was amazing. You were an amazing student. Thank you. Thank you. I loved it. We had so much fun. Oh, look, Francis, get back in here. We're all going to cry. Gisette, <laughs> here's your daughter. Here, Gisette. <laughs> I hope you're taking care of her. <laughs> Gisette is like uh, Francis is a stepmom. <laughs> oh, me. And, and Louisa is a stepmom. There's a lot of stepmoms, actually. Everybody her, is her stepmom. <laughs> Hi, Leandro. Hi, Darcy. How's it going? Hi. Good Hi. to see you. Congratulations. Thank you. So have you negotiated the like best contract ever with Gensler? I'm on it. I'm on, on it. it? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm Good on job. <laughs> like with like clawing onto that job. <laughs> yeah, be risky. Risky business. All right, Wait, I should get started. Okay, let's yeah. get it started. Well, um, hello graduates, you did it. So give yourself a big round of applause. Come on. <laughs> well, welcome to the Zoom toast. Um, sorry we couldn't have a physical super jury celebration, but we are here to improvise. Um, here's what we'll be doing. First, I have the privilege to thank all the people who made your thesis studio successful. Then as a chair, I'll do my best to give, give a virtual graduate address. Next, we raise the toast with a special virtual presentation by the FIU Music Choir, just for you. Okay. Um, the choir actually was created for the graduation, but... but but we got the first cut on that, so. Katie, would you mind uh, muting everyone except me? <laughs> yeah, let me see. <laughs> you might get some echoes. Two. Okay, there you go. Um, so when there's an applause, unmute them, because I want to hear the applause. <laughs> so, um, Next, after we raise the toast, um, of course, we'll uh, ask uh, our graduate faculty as well as uh, our mentors to say a few words 
of uh, uh, wishing you luck for the future. And then the party continues. So first I would like to thank our, uh, your thesis professors, uh, Katie Rockfield and Janine King. Um, as you might have experienced, it was not easy transition uh, going from physical to remote and uh, there's a lot of work behind the scenes for them to make it happen. Um, but they, I'm proud to say that they maintain your standard all the time uh, as much as you did. You work very hard to achieve uh, this achievement. So just today, I think uh, uh, in the middle of something, I was texting uh, Katie and she said, I'm arranging seven Zoom meetings simultaneously. So I didn't want to disturb her. <laughs> um, let me ask Katie to talk a little bit about the prizes uh, for the masters um, and what kind of categories they are and when, when, when you'll be getting them. Uh, Katie, can you talk a few words on that? Sure. Um, so usually at our super jury, we give out our awards and we also give out the cruise ship and super yacht certificates. Um, that is not going to happen today because we, Janine and I have not seen all of the work yet. Um, and so we want to make sure that we do get a chance to, I mean, we looked at the, the PDFs, but we really want to be able to look closely at your work to make those decisions. Um, typically we give awards in a few different categories, including application of research, um, sustainable initiatives. Um, and we also give awards in excellence in design, um, as well as sustained excellence in design. So that might be excellence throughout more than just the thesis, um, as well as uh, a high GPA. And so a couple of those awards reflect work over the time that you've been here, not just the semester, and most of them are about this semester. Um, so the ones that um, are related to sustained performance um, and high GPA, those are the ones that are going to come with some Festival of the Trees money this year, which is really exciting because we have never been able to do that for our graduating students because you guys are leaving us and will no longer be students, but we are able to get the timing in so that um, we will have that available. Um, and then we will have the other awards as well. So um, once those are, have been determined, we will be making an announcement so that everyone knows um, who our winners are. Great, thanks Katie. So we have uh, four awards <clears throat> in cash money from the Festival of Trees. Uh, so Gisette is here, our co-chair of Festival of Trees. So thank you for all that work you do. It goes to our students. Um, I also wanted to share another small piece of news. Uh, um, the, there is an award called King's Medal. This is a research award for the entire School of Architecture. And uh, I'm proud to say we didn't get the winners, but we were the honorable mention of the King's Medal. So I'd like to congratulate Leandro and uh, Ramiro for the King's Medal Honorable Mention Award. Good, yay! <laughs> Great. Um, I, your certificate will be in the mail. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, Katie, Esperanza, and Janine for being champions of a mentorship program for our final master's year students, um, pairing the mentors with students, and uh, that makes our program very rich in terms of uh, the educational quality that comes out of the master's program. So I'd like to thank all the mentors who are part of this thesis group of 2020. So big round of applause to our mentors. Yay, mentors. I'd also like to thank all the uh, FIU interior architecture faculty who have been important to your education down the line. Uh, Philip Abbott, Darcy Papano, Esperanza Maino, our adjunct professors, Harvey Bernstein, Mohammed Shanti and Katerina Garcia. Give them a big round of applause. Yay, and Janine. <laughs> All right, we cannot forget the sacrifices done by your own family to bring you to this moment. Dear graduates, turn around. If you have family members around you, give them a big round of applause uh, because they have supported you financially and psychologically um, your spouses, your girlfriends, boyfriends, partners, mothers, fathers, uncles, aunts, grandmothers, grandfathers, children, everyone are a part of this particular 
group. So thank you so much for all your help that you've given to our students. Now I'd like to address our graduate class of 2020. It gives me a great privilege as a chair to be a part of uh, your life, being at this university. 20 years from now, you'll remember this time when you graduated, the time of COVID-19, because with pain comes memory. You will go into a shaken world and it'll be different. Throughout the semester, I heard several of you lose internships, lose homes, had to help your family in distress, and just the anxiety of dealing with what the virus itself. Yet you persevered. We are all so proud of you. If COVID-19 defines you, it already has, and for the better. Today, as you're cooped up indoors, we can reflect the difference interior architecture can make in your lives and the lives of others. Not just about how you apply materials or lighting or color or codes, although that's important, but in how you bring them together meaningfully to create humane spaces, especially spaces for the most vulnerable among us, the sick, the elderly, persons with disability, the homeless. COVID has taught us that the more vulnerable we are, the more the environment affects us. As designers, you have a unique gift, the X-ray vision to imagine a building. How many people can do that? And to imagine people within it. Now this place is a tremendous responsibility. Understanding that every line you draw can either become a barrier or an opportunity. The COVID-19 era demands that true design you bring comfort to people in pain, improve the quality of life of first responders, reduce workplace stress, bring harmony to families in distress. Design gives you that unique opportunity. Dear graduates, you will enter into a world of many unknowns, a world in which besides your interior architecture knowledge, you'll require other skills, empathy, resilience, endurance, compassion, optimism, and grit. This is what you will take to the world of unknowns. It might be a world of unknowns, but that's precisely where as designers you step in. You are trained to work in ambiguity. You bring creative solutions to things that are often taken for granted. In the world of unknowns, you get to be leaders that bring clarity. Dear graduates, you are critical thinkers. In the world of unknowns, you not only need to ask why, but also why not. Not only to ask what, but so what. Not only to ask how, but how come. You have the opportunity to push that reset button in this world of unknowns. And I'm confident that the world will be a better place because of you. Dear graduates, in closing, I would share something that my mentor would always say. Do well, most of all, do good. Thank you. All right, so now we're gonna raise our class here, <laughs> if you can see it. And I'll request Katie, Katie to play our FIU anthem. So don't drink until the anthem is played. Katie? <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Just have to share the screen. Yeah. Hold on. And maybe the URL. I just wanted to mention that uh, this particular anthem was created by Karen Fuller, the chair of music department. And I told her, we wanted to make our uh, graduate students something special. Would you have a musical piece for us? And so she shared, shared the anthem. Let's, let's drink to the anthem and to your future.
As soon as I get it going. <laughs> <laughs> no so pressure, sad, so Katie. Sad. After the anthem is played, we drink, and then each of our faculty member will tell their um, words of wisdom, and then we go to the mentors. All right, are you seeing sure. it? Yeah, we're seeing okay. it. Okay. Make sure we have some volume. All right. Congrats. Katie, do you want to um, unmute everyone and let's start with um, Darcy? Some words of wisdom. Yeah, hold on. Let me mute all and then see if she can unmute herself. Stella. Okay, Darcy, you can unmute yourself to talk. Hi, hi. I'm broadcasting today from a super yacht here. And, um, and I want to um, really, really congratulate all you guys. It's amazing. And you have been through a, 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 like a walking, like kind of a test because this graduate school, graduate school alone is very challenging. And we've had so many challenges for you and you guys, have stayed strong and succeeded on all of them. It's been, it's been incredible. You're going to do great out there and you're going to be, and you have so many experiences to take into this job. Each of these difficult times that we go through make us stronger, they make us more grounded and they enable us to take a strength with us into into a job, into organizations, into our life that help us to negotiate future things. So I think that there's positive with everything. I'm super, you know, I'm sad that you don't get to walk down the aisle and get your picture with Mark Rosenberg and that I don't get to hug every single one of you, which I do every time I get in trouble. They're like, no, let him go, let him go. So I'm hugging you right now. There we go, there we go. Hugging, hugging. It might be the last hug I ever give. But I'm, I, it's against the law for me to hug you, but I've continued to do it since I met you in your first class. And I will continue to give you hugs whenever you want them. I want you to know that any of you, please, any of you, can WhatsApp me anytime, and I'm right here for you, okay? If you're having a hard day, if you're sad, if you're struggling, just call me. Don't, you're not in this alone. You don't like graduate and then leave us behind. We're here for you in every way. We're here for you in your future. We're here for you to welcome you back as teachers, to welcome you back as mentors, to welcome you back as supporters. It's a, to bring you in as lecturers. We are, 
like, you know, like I always like to say, we're family. We're family. We know the worst of each other, you know? Some of you know more bad about me than, I, and I know a lot about about you. So, um, but I want to especially congratulate the, um, the, my girls uh, from the cruise ship and super yacht program that what we, what you guys have done, the work that you have in your portfolio, the experiences that we had traveling in Italy. I, I think that we're bonded for a forever. And, and, and I see you coming into this industry in a lot of very productive ways. So I just can't believe I look at, the other day, I was looking at our pictures, traveling through Italy, crying, crying, crying. So happy to have had this with you. And the same goes for my Bauhaus babies. I love you. I love you. I'm so proud that you pushed yourself to do that work and to do and to go out into that world with me as well. I know I'm a very difficult teacher but I do it because I love you. Does not sound like a mother? So I am like, just, I love you. And, and let's just move forward into your like new design career and call me whenever you need me, you call me. I'm right here. I love you, bye. <laughs> we love you, Darcy. Love you. Love you. Love you, Darcy. Oh my God. Love, love, love. Jin, you were talking maybe? On yeah, so who's next is uh, Janine. Janine, ready? Unmute myself. I'm unmuted. Okay, Janine. Watch out. <laughs> Watch out, look out. Yeah. Well, you guys, geez Louise, we made it to this part. <laughs> It's been a um, it's been a roller coaster of a of a couple of years here, and you guys have done a great job. You know, you always classes always ask me, you know, like what kind of class were we? Were you like were you like us? You know, and I always think about your class, and I think your class went through so many transitions, even from like grad three to grad four to grad one. You know, it just I mean D three to D four to grad one. Just seems like you were the transition crew and where I, how I would characterize you is a group of really resilient individuals. So I think that how wonderful an opportunity it is to see you guys pull it together in the midst of all this chaos, right? Yes. I mean, not only, you know, you always expect the fifth year students to pull it together, but you guys pulled it together in all this chaos. What a great thing. I mean, that shows a lot of strength. So I'm really proud of you. And I think you, we've done a really good job. And I'm just really happy to have been part of this whole process with you. So thanks a lot. And thanks for all you've given us, right? I mean, come on. This class has given us a lot. So let's thank them too. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Yay! <clears throat> Who's next, Katie? Sure. Um, so congratulations really to all of you guys. It was, um, it takes a lot to get through our program, as you know. <laughs> we, we play, we play hardball. We want to make sure that you guys are well prepared, that you can succeed. And I know that all of you are going to succeed in what you have in store for you, what you have planned, um, and, and more than that. Um, so first of all, I wanna say congratulations to all of you, and thank you to everyone who made this day and our graduates' accomplishments possible, because it takes a lot of people to get to where you are, um, and a lot, of, uh, a lot of encouragement and a lot of support. And I've watched each of you guys grow in so many ways from your early restaurant designs in grad one to your passionate revelations and sustainable practices to our experiential field trips to Boston and Chicago. And now for me, it is really incredible to witness the culmination of all of your hard work 
that's completed in the pursuit of your passion which is interior architecture. And what I love about our field is that students who pursue interior architecture do not do it for, because people tell them they need to. Um, they, they do it because they want to, because they love to. There's no one saying like, grow up and be an interior designer, right? Is it, it's something that you do because you love and you wouldn't do it in, for any other reason. Um, and so it's really amazing to watch all of you guys push yourself so hard to accomplish so much. And it's something that you really, truly love. Um, you all have so many amazing opportunities ahead of you. You should look forward, follow your dreams, and know that you are always welcome home with Gwen <laughs> at FIU. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. What about Thank you, Katie. <laughs> Esperanza? SP? Yes, yes. I, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Um, I just have in my mind right now the first day that we um, together in programming just start um, programming your thesis. And at that time I say it's almost done. And you see, it's done. It was a long and difficult journey for everyone, I know. But in my opinion, I'm pretty sure that the final result is more than excellent. And I think uh, that um, when I'm going to see your thesis, I'm going to be very satisfied. Um, I think that um, I want to I say thank you for um, showing me hope for the future of our profession. Um, all of you are very good examples on how to uh, act for the improvisation. And this is one of the examples. I'm going to be bragging about your work and about you. And I hope that you don't forget us that you pass by FIU as Katie say, and visit us and continue be part, being part of this community. Um, and I'm gonna miss you guys. Great, thanks Esperanza. Thank you, thank you. Phil, yeah. Phil, do you have a couple of words to say? Hey, I'm sorry y'all, forgive me. I was <laughs> I'm so sorry, I didn't join until now. Yeah, yeah I guess I, I do have a few words. I miss you all so much, number one. It seems like half the class last year, you were overfilled, if you remember. And the other half, you were unfilled because you didn't get to have me in the studio at all. And uh, hopefully at the end of this, um, these, these uh, three or four or five years, uh, that you feel like you're fulfilled. But anyway, <laughs> really <laughs> miss you all. Are you there? Can I, can I, okay. Is everybody hearing me? Yes. Okay, great. Yes. Anyway, it's been a real privilege, you know, an honor to be part of your initial development of your professional career. So all of us feel like, you know, we are, we are really uh, fortunate to be part, to be part of this. And so uh, I, I really miss that we didn't get together this F, uh, for the, the uh, super jury, and I'm really, really sorry about that. And uh, I have reserved hugs for everybody, right? So, you know, once you graduate, then I can hug everybody, right? <laughs> so I'm going to... So anyway, you have a hug coming from Philip in the future whenever you uh, desire that, anyway and come by and see me. But uh, anyway, I, I just wish that, I uh, wish you all health and um, uh, wealth, and of course, happiness in your future. Uh, and you know that we are here and I'm here and whatever I can do in the future, just let me know and I'll be, you know, I'll be so happy to hear from you. So keep in touch. Okay, is everybody, I, is everybody, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
really miss you all so much. We you love know. you too. We love you, Phil. We love you, Phil. All right. I it's, want to it's, open it's up. So, you know, it's, it's so sad and so happy at the same time. And I know you yeah. all, you all go, joining the profession at a very difficult time, but it will break open. And everybody in this class seems so talented to me that there's no doubt that you're going to find a really meaningful employment. Anyway. Thanks, Phil. Good luck. Okay. Appreciate your words of wisdom. Um, now I open it up for our mentors. Um, anyone wants to say a few words? John, Stephen, Chizet, Kenzie. Yes. This is Stephen. I can say a few words. Um, okay, Steve. Yeah. Um, no. Thank you so much for um, having me be a part of this process. Uh, it's brings me back to my days in school and, and all the hard work and sweat and tears that, you know, you put into these projects um, that, that you, you know, wind up loving and become a piece of you. Um, you know, congratulations to all the students. I, I know it's a lot of hard work, um, but trust me, it, it, it definitely pays off. And um, it's, it's great to see everybody. Oh, got a little bit of feedback. It's great to see everybody operating at such a high level um, because that's what's going to be expected of you, you know, when you enter into the into the workplace. So um, you have a great head start and the future is bright. So congratulations. Thanks, Steve. Anyone else? John? Uh, yeah, I'd like to say uh, congratulations, congratulations to everybody. I'm, I'm drinking too much now. <laughs> Um, I think um, these times are definitely difficult, but I think uh, it's always an opportunity for everybody uh, to look outside the box for ideas. And uh, I can see a lot of uh, talent coming out of this class and uh, it should be very successful. And um, I always love mentoring and I always look forward to seeing these mentors grow in, uh, in the future uh, aspirations. And as, as far as all the different uh, opportunities out there, you just have to find them. I'm sure you'll, you're talented. You'll be able to find them in these uh, moments. And uh, just look forward to you guys, uh, you guys eventually also mentoring in the future. So there's always a uh, payback. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Who else? Thanks, uh, John. Is it? Sure. Um, first of all, your work was amazing. I am so proud of you guys. Um, I know that, you know, I got you guys like fresh when you guys started or, and you know, like with the rabbit class and stuff like that. But what I saw, I am so happy and I am so proud. And the most important thing is that despite everything that has happened, you guys pushed it through. You represented FIU interior architecture all the way. And I have no doubt that people are gonna be trying to hire you guys because you guys are awesome. Um, but first, like the most important thing that you have to think about is that despite that, okay, we didn't have the ceremony, we didn't have the graduation, we didn't have any of that, you guys should like really, really like feel proud of yourself because everything came together at the end and yes it wasn't perfect but like this quality of time that we're having right now this meeting that we're having right now we probably wouldn't have this intimate conversation you know so it's like a little bit more heartfelt it's a little bit more sentimental and like I'm not gonna cry <laughs> but just know that I love all of you guys in in my own way and I'm always gonna be around all right so I'm proud of you guys Kenzie? Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. So let me see if I can verbalize this correctly. Um, first of all, thank you guys for having me as a juror. I enjoyed myself thoroughly. And actually, this was my first time ever being a part of the grand jury because typically I'm working. So there was some benefit to <laughs> the COVID-19 <laughs> I will say that um, just as, as you guys have endured the semester and with the hardships that you've gone through as well, just know that that's also going to come along with your career. 
whether that's going to be stress in your workplace or another economic downfall. But if you've made it through this far, you can get through anything. I was very happy and excited of the work that I saw. I was very impressed with a lot of the work that I saw. You guys are very talented. And I just wish you guys lots of success. Keep your heads up. There is a future out there in store for you waiting, no matter what industry or what sector of the industry you might work in. Um, do your best and be yourself at all times and you'll get through it. Thank you guys again for having me. Thanks, Kinsey. Who else? Katie Gutierrez, you want to say something? Sure, I'd love to. Yeah, sure. uh, I had the pleasure of having some of you as students. I have the pleasure and the honor of having one of you in my office. I think you're an incredibly talented group of students. I'm so impressed. I was so impressed with what I saw today. I am so impressed with the journey that I've seen so many of you um, take from beginning to the end now. Um, and there's one thing now that I'm so excited that all of you are gonna get to experience for the first time. And that is all of this hard work that you've put into projects right now, you've never seen it built. And there's something that I know that's waiting for you on the other side is when you design something and you get to walk into your built environment for the first time, I know your mind is going to explode and you're gonna melt into the floor. And I'm so excited for that moment for all of you. It doesn't get old for me to this day, 10 years later. So I just want to say, like, there are so many good moments to come. And I'm so excited for all of those moments for all of you. And I wish I could hear about all of them. Um, feel free to reach out and tell me about them. It would be an honor to hear about it. I want to say a huge, 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 huge congratulations to all of you. I still look back on my thesis project and I still think about um, when I'm in, in a challenge, I still to this day think to myself, well, I never thought I would be able to complete my thesis and I did, so I'm sure I can get through this. So I know this is going to be one of those things for you that you're going to have in your back pocket for the rest of your life that you're going to look back on and say, look what I accomplished. So cheers. Congratulations to all of you. I couldn't be prouder. I, I agree. I wish I could hug all of you to give you a huge congratulations, but definitely know that I am cheerleading you from um, my home today. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Who else? Uh, Sunny, you want to say some words? Sure. Um, so I haven't had the pleasure of knowing all of you for as long as some other mentors um, and still getting to know the FIU program, but I was definitely impressed with everything that I saw when I attended one of the CRITs. And I think that I'm just impressed at how resilient um, everybody has been in such an odd time. And I think it definitely throws you into some of the realities of the workplace as well. So this is all a very good teaching and learning moment uh, because we always have to improvise. We have to get comfortable in situations that we might not have been before. So I think that this whole crazy experience that you're having is actually probably going to um, show up in other skill sets you didn't even know you had. And um, so I just applaud you all for all of your hard work and um, hope that we see the industry rebound from this very quickly so that you all can jump straight into your careers and your next step. So I'm just excited to have been part of your journey. And I think that you should all be proud of all the hard work. And regardless of how it ended with virtual versus real, um, I just, I think you're all fantastic. So congratulations. Thanks, Sunny. Are there other mentors who would like to yeah, say Joel. a few? Joel. Can I can I say something here? <laughs> sure, sure. Is there something? Sure, sure, sure. Is that better now? Yes. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, I still I still laugh. Um, congratulations to everyone. We were uh, thank you very much for the invitation to to be part of this jury. Um, I mean, what, what we saw earlier today was amazing. Um, 
this, these times are not easy for anyone. Um, time will, you know, times will get better. One thing I did say to my uh, small group of um, you know, the small team, take advantage of these days. You guys made it to here. These days are, I mean, take this, this time to reflect, spend time with your family, try to make the best of this time because this will change and all we'll have to look back is the, the memories of the time we spent together, the times we enjoyed. And obviously there's, it's, it's really sad what's happening in the world, but we have to be optimistic. We have to make the best out of it. And the industry and the world I mean, will we'll, we'll move on and things will change. Get creative like, um, uh, I can remember someone said, be creative, inspired. Um, and I'm lucky to have one of you guys here in my office. And I hope we can get a few of you when, when things get better. It's a great industry. It's a beautiful profession. And we are here to make a difference and we'll make it happen. Congratulations and lots and lots of success. Thanks, Don. Thank you. Anyone else? All right. Well, uh, once again, uh, let me congratulate the graduates and thank you mentors for really um, making a difference in our students' lives. Uh, they, as you, as you have seen, they hold on to every word you say. So thank you. Thank you for being, being a part of the process uh, at the FIU Interior Architecture. Thank you to all faculty and thank you all students. Once again, congratulations and have a wonderful life. Thank you. Sure. Cheers. 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 So this means that we can officially drink with the professors now, right? Yes. You are. Yes. <laughs> yes, Ashley. You can do it. The party continues. So now it's very informal. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I think we should thank Francis too. Yeah. Yeah. I'll support dog. <laughs> Ashley, now, now is your time to tell us about how you really felt about us. Oh, <laughs> there's not enough alcohol in the world, do we? <laughs> no, I'm totally kidding. Um, you know, my husband and I were talking about it the other day, and, and he said, you know, I, because I, I don't know if you guys remember when I was looking at schools, I had gotten accepted to two different schools and I got accepted to New York School of Interior Design in New York, which I would have been home for. And then I got, I applied to FIU and I got accepted there. And we were talking about it and I said, you know, I don't know if I actually would have grown and developed the way that I have if I stayed home, like if that makes any sense. Like having your family constantly, like I have pictures of that my little sister kept coming over and I was trying to work on my thesis and my nephew would come over and he'd have like his, you know, PJ masks, friggin' mask on and he wants to run around and I'm like, oh my God, family is so distracting. I love my family. But so, <laughs> so I, I say all the time, like one, I'm really glad for the distance, but I look at the professors from FIU and you guys literally were like a family, you know? Did I get mad at you at times? Absolutely. Did I want to stab you in the eye and like feed it to my dog? Probably. <laughs> but you know, that's kind of like what families do, right? And the, the way that you guys would modify things when you knew it was right, but you stuck to your guns when you knew it was right, because if you modified yourself all the time, we would take full advantage of that, just like kids do to their mothers. And I think that you had the perfect balance of knowing 
when it was okay to to make a little change for us and when to stick to your guns and I can't believe, like, I look at that first render I pulled out from Gisette's class. It was like this chair in this empty room, and it was the craziest and saddest looking thing I've ever seen. And then today, the juror goes, um, we had Yi, and she goes, what program did you use to render? And I said, just Revit. And she's like, that's just Revit. And I was like, yes, it is. And it's amazing to see the journey in the three years that we've taken. And it's like, what are we going to do in five? What are we going to do in 10? And it was a hundred percent because of the love and the support and just everything that this program was from the faculty. And I'm trying really hard not to cry because I really want to hug every single one of you. And I couldn't thank you enough for just the love and support. And that's it. And yes, I someone else please it. cry. I can't be the only one. <laughs> <laughs> All I you, Ashley. Love you, Ashley. Love you, Ashley. Thank you for working so hard. I just want to yeah. say to my classmates, thank you guys for making the last okay. three years bearable. Um, we've had a lot of fun. We've had a lot of cries. We've had a lot of like really angry moments. Um, or, we're a dysfunctional family, like Ashley said, even amongst <laughs> ourselves. Um, and it's just it's been a wild ride, and I'm really gonna miss all of you and the support that we've all had for each other. And actually, like we've made each other grow through examples. So, like I've learned a lot, and I've improved a lot just from you know sharing that studio room with you guys. So thank you. Love you. Thank you. Alisa. Yeah, it's probably the one of the last times that all of you guys are together in the same environment, uh, even though it is a virtual environment. Um, you know, you'll go and do great things uh, with your own lives. But this is probably the last time that all of us are there together as a class. So thank you for being here. Thank you. Who else? Can, can anyone talk about their their crits and if um, they felt like any of the jurors were being too hard and effective <laughs> <laughs> fashion? How did they help you at all? I'm curious to know that. I have a thing about jurors. So when you know, there's like this. There's always been this idea or this rumor that goes around that, you know, you get put in front of this group of people and they tear you down and they're hard and they're mean. And that's why, you know, most of us just like have diarrhea, like leading up to it because we're so nervous. Um, but the truth is, I've never had a crit like that. And especially in today's crit, you know, they all started with really positive things about the project and that's the way that I think that all feedback should be given and then they gave like hey listen if you get you know more time why don't you think about you know maybe just focusing on this area and just develop it a little bit more and I have to say the feedback that we got at least in in our group was really good um it gave us a few things to think about and then ended with a really positive you know affirmation about our project and I just I thought that our, our two crits were really wonderful. I just want to go off what Ashley said. I actually did have a crit where, um, where a professor did kind of like tear me apart. But I'm the type of person that even though I received that feedback, um, I take it with a grain of salt and then try to turn it around with how can I get better and what can I do to you know improve as a designer and also make myself feel that I'm confident of my projects. So I want to thank each and every person um, in this studio and all the professors who have helped me become who I am because I wouldn't be who I am today. I wouldn't have the opportunity that I have to be working where I am.
I'm not the only one. Let it out, girl. I feel you. <laughs> Big girl, you know? <laughs> I just want to say something to Camila to make more, uh, make her to cry more. Uh, <laughs> because when I saw her, I the first time I say, mm, my goodness, I know this girl. And I check her name and I say, mm, that name sounds familiar to me. And that uh, happens um, that I know her since kindergarten. She studied kindergarten with one of, of my daughters. So I never imagined that I can be part uh, in her life, uh, at least a, a piece, um, a tiny, tiny piece in her education. So for me, it's really like rewarded to see her here. And um, if you want to continue crying, <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Yeah, we all have different struggles in our lives, but we have to push through and make the best of what we can. Um, many of you don't know, but I was a, well. I'm I'm an immigrant from Peru, and just last year, um, we had a scare that I told Darcy that you know my family can get deported back to. Hey, how many did And um. But Darcy sat down with me and reassured me that everything will be okay and told me to push through. Thanks, Camila. We, we hear you. It's not an easy journey, but we appreciate all the hard work and not just in terms of the work itself, right? There are other things in life that needs to be taken care of. And uh, as a faculty, we are so, so very proud of you that you marched on in spite of all the tremendous challenges that some of you have gone through. And as faculty, we might not even know half of the struggles that you've gone through, but um, uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, you guys have a really bright future um, and that uh, everything will be fine as you move on into the future, okay? Um, especially with very talented students like you. Um, so we know that so you'll make a difference uh, to, to the community. And uh, thank you for being, uh, being a part of our lives as much as uh, we were part of your lives. That, and that's what I would like to really uh, echo, Newton, is I wanna thank all these people for being a part of my life because every one of them has helped me to grow to be a better woman. Camilla, I love you so much. I just love you so much. I love all you guys. I look at your pictures. I finally get to meet Kristen's mother. Oh my God, there she is. Hi, mom, hi. You know, hi. I mean, did, did I see some of the people's families sitting beside them? Yeah, I mean, this is when we have that and that our other older students are coming back. Melanie is over here. I love that she's in our group today. That, but every single one of you has, I've had these like personal experiences with you that are so incredible that you've let me, that you've trusted me to be there for you. And that is the best compliment of, anything that you trust me to be like your 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 friend that your friend so you uh, i thank you for that and i just love i love you all i mean i've known you i'm like pretty much the first teacher you get when you come in whether you're at the formatives or you come in through d3 and I see you when you're just a baby, you know, and you're just so willing to do anything. I mean, Ashley, I never forget when she called. I had just had Ashley for the formative class and she was a handful. You can well imagine Ashley was a handful. And she calls me up and she says, oh my God, I've been accepted to New York School of Design. I was like, if you do that, uh, no, 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 no. That's what I told her. No, 
Have you looked at their faculty? Are you going to have me if you go to New York School of Design? Oh. And, you know, and she, and so it was amazing that she trusted me, though, to call and talk to me about that. So, Ashley, thank you for making the right decision. And, well, absolutely, and, Darcy. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But, and no, but thank you all for trusting us. That's what you did, because this is not easy. We've all cried. We, I mean, this is not an easy process. We take you and we unlearn everything, and then we make you into designers. And that is a very painful process. Thank you for doing it. And also the process of going from, you know, putting the first line on your drawing board all the way to your master's project. It's, it's amazing the transformation that happens from the first year you come in to the final year, right? It's like uh, giving birth to a baby, right? You, you <laughs> have, you have a, 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 you know, it's, it's just creation. Creation is beautiful, right? So you have just a small one line that you draw in your D3 studios and then in the master studios, um, it just becomes so fully transformed. Not only just your, your design, but you become transformed. So it's great to see that, that transformation, right? We get you in D4, we get you in G1, G3. And as faculty, we get to see that change happen. And Katie will tell you, every time she sees the master's thesis, she tells you, I saw your project in G1, and it's just incredible how far <laughs> you've come, right? It just amazes us, this whole idea of design creation. So thank you. And also, I want to give a shout out to all the family once again, because without your family and support system, you know, we are just a part of your lives, but your family is the one which really uh, came through you. Uh, probably they don't, didn't understand all the hardships that we're going through in design, but certainly they, they were a big part of your support system. And so uh, we'd like to thank the families once again. Thank you, families. I want to make a special thank for the, the faculty of FIU that it's cliche to say it, but it's literally family. You guys have been a support system that I could never have imagined before. Even when the toughest times came to me. Um, and you guys, the, the students, they're my, my sisters and brothers right now. Um, I don't know, I just feel so lucky to, to be part of it. And that's it, <laughs> me right now. <laughs> thank you guys, thank you all. Love really. you. Thanks, Louisa. Uh, in spite of tremendous challenges in your own life, you've come this far and uh, you know, it's just incredibly inspiring to us too, to see someone like you, to blossom like, like this and march ahead in spite of all the life challenges that have been put through you, so thanks. And hearing from you too, have been an incredible chair. Support. I mean, also, really, for us, Darcy, I, I cannot... Love you. Love you, Louisa. Love you all. Thank you so much. I think we need more alcohol for all the crying. <laughs> I think it's the alcohol that's making us all cry. Oh, gosh, oh. Well, can I say one more thing? <laughs> Always. Please, please. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, I see a lot of people who their pictures aren't up here and and these are like the quiet students of our of our life, you know. And Matthew and Gracie and Maria Medina. Look at these are like our quiet <laughs> Our quiet kids, and I, I can't see you, but I want to tell you that I'm so proud of you for being strong, for being there, and for working through this, and, and that quiet people go further than loud people. There you go. 
But Gracie, Matthew, I'm so proud of you. Maria Medina, that we did Bauhaus. I will never forget you. So everybody, so anyway, but I just, on the back page, it's just people's pictures. And you are just as important. I will say though, that uh, each one has a different personality. Um, Here's we have, Matthew. We have Matthew who is very quiet, but uh, very, very smart. Um, so so we, we appreciate each one's personality. We really appreciate the diversity in our university um, in terms of not just cultures, but personalities. Uh, so that, that's something that as faculty we appreciate because if everyone is the same, uh, yes. we, get, we get bored too. But uh, it's great to see, uh, you know, the diverse range of uh, talents that you guys possess. So thank you for that. Can I ask a question? Considering we're not students anymore, well, technically I just have Katie for two more classes. Hi, Gracie. Hi. Well, you're still, you're still students. Okay, we're still students, but I really, we were laughing about this the other day. <laughs> when you see some of the shit we try to, we try to put up during pinups, or like we come in with crazy looking models and it's like a, a stick glued onto a plate, and we come up with like this crazy story. Do you guys like go back and laugh your asses off about what we just tried to like show? <laughs> yes. You yeah. have to, right? No. Yes, we do. I yeah. never do. <laughs> I, I would say that, uh, you know, 20 years, um, 20 years uh, or 15 years, uh, we still remember your design. Uh, even after 20 years, we, we, we still remember because uh, it's been a part of our thinking process as well. So I still remember, even if you meet me after 20 years, I'll still remember your master's thesis or one of your projects. So, or your uh, property model. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's always the case. Anyway, I, it's, I'm just so um, disappointed that, that half the class I didn't, I never had in the studio. Right, because of the way we set it up. Right. So, you know, half of y'all, I never, I never had the opportunity to really work with you in the studio. So, yeah. um, I think we're going to change that next year. But, Good. Um, but I really miss, I really miss that opportunity. Yeah. Me too, Phil. I don't get to work with half of them either. Yeah, so that's but really I want to say that studying abroad, I went to Bauhaus and Italy. It was both of them, the by far like the best experiences I've had at FIU. Like this the experience to live abroad and study abroad and, and getting to know different cultures. But Yeah, that's always the case. Yeah. And you made it extra fun, Darcy. So. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Phil, we miss your hugs. Yes. Um, miss uh, you, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to miss your hole punching and your stapling for our notes. <laughs> oh man, thank you no, so much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss your quizzes. You give me a hard time about that. Anyway. I'm so glad that we have uh, 45 participants in this Zoom toast. I, I didn't think that we would have as many, but it's great to see not only just students, but also our well wishers and the mentors and family. Uh, we might not have the real physical super jury, but I think this is also special to have all of you together. Definitely something we'll remember forever. <laughs> Different. And you're also beautiful. Yeah, this probably will be the only graduation uh, or, or celebration held online in a, in a long time. So, so we have to get together. So what are we going to do about that? Yeah, I think we have to like, to like, could we have a one-year reunion or something so we can all actually... That would be know, a really good idea. Oh my so God. somebody yeah. needs to be in charge of that. So I'll be in charge. Yeah, Darcy. I, I, I called Darcy about it. <laughs> okay, is this, is this something we're going to do, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll you got to do it. it. Okay. okay. We can do it in person, though. 
In a year, yes. yeah, in person. Well, in oh. a year, it's the next super journey. We all come to that. <laughs> yeah, so we have to do this in person. Thing. Thing. The annual Excuse Thanksgiving me. potluck. Excuse me, Leandro, where is Romero? Where is Romero? Yeah, where is Romero? <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm never gonna talk to him again. You can just tell him that. I feel that I, I feel that I'm missing my other half. Oh, <laughs> right. that is so me true. Too. <laughs> oh my god. We have several duos, you know. <laughs> so. How many of you are participating in the virtual uh, commencement? I haven't even looked at that yet. Okay. Well, I should turn some lights on. It's getting a little dark in here. If you if you cannot participate in the virtual commencement, we'll be glad to see you again in uh, the spring or fall commencement um, to to see you and and hug you in physical in physical terms. So um, that would be one one reunion, and obviously you guys will always come to the festival of trees whenever it happens. Uh, we have built a big alumni base. And uh, yes, it's a fundraiser, but it's also an alumni reception, you know, plain and simple. So we'll, we'll definitely see you there as well. Sure. Okay, one year. Okay, okay, I'll start working on it. And I'll help you, Doris. We'll okay, all right. Good. Sing it together, okay. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go. I love you. Thank yep. you, Newton, for arranging this and uh, <laughs> the fresh coffee with all you people that I've drank coffee with for <laughs> four years. Cheers. Love you, Darcy. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Love you. Congratulations, Thank you. everyone. Good once again. Oh, bye. 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 Oh, bye